Let's check this together. The answer is three, all right? Okay, let's move on. And I'd like to talk about loops. Uh, loops are used for uh, repeating the same task or same job. Let's say primes, two, three, five, and seven, and 11. And what you can do is you can iterate through the items inside this list. So let's say it's for P in primes. And if you say P in primes means, okay, let's run this code and I'll explain the functionality. All right, here P indicates each, each item inside this list. So at the first iteration, P is two, and we print out P, and it goes back to this block and updates P. So at first, P was two, and do this part, and it goes back to this part again. And P now becomes three, and then it goes to this expression and come back to this part and update T to five, and it does until it reaches the last i, right? So that's why two, three, five, seven, eleven is uh, our premium. Okay. So this is how you iterate through uh, the items inside a list. And another thing you can do is using range function or method. I told uh, I introduced this functionality. Previously, uh, if you say range five, then it basically creates numbers, five numbers from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four are printed out. However, sometimes you want to create another range of lists. So for example, three, two, uh, eight. What it does is it creates numbers from three to the number right before eight. So I told you that in Python, the last item is not included, all right? And another thing you can do is uh, from three to eight, but with step two. So it prints out three, five, seven. So rather than having one step, so three to four has one step. However, it jumps two twice. So three to five, five to seven, like this. So you can change these uh, parameters to create numbers you want. Okay. Uh, sometimes, Lists might not contain just numbers, but some other objects like strings. Cat, dog, monkey, like this. Then uh, it prints out cat, dog, monkey. And sometimes you might want to access to the indices of these items. Then what you can do is using enumerator like this. Then this IDX becomes the indices of each item. So this one is the zeroth item, first item, and the second item. So this one becomes the indices, okay? So that was a for loop.
And there is another loop, a while loop. So it does the same job when this condition is satisfied. So it prints out count until count is smaller than five, all right? Okay. So these are quite easy, right? And I would like to introduce two um, keywords, um, break and continue. Let's say count is initialized as zero. And while true, you would like to print out count. And you would like to in increase count one by one. And if count is larger than by, I would like to break this while loop, All right? So it basically does the same thing. So you print out the value of count and I increase count one by one in each, upper, in each iteration. And if count is larger than zero, five, then I'll break this while loop. So this while loop does not continue performing its job. So that's what break is about. Okay, and another thing I'd like to show you is continue. So if X is even number, I would like to continue. In this case, um, it skips even numbers and the rest of this block is not executed, all right? So that is what continue is about. So when break is met, when we encounter break, then the whole block, the whole while block is broken. So it stops right there. However, when we encounter continue, it stops at this position, However, it moves on to the next iteration, okay? So at first, x was zero. And when we come to this part, uh, x percent two equals zero. So it continues to the next iteration rather than executing this part, okay? Then now x is one. And because x percent two is not equal to zero, it moves on to the next part. And this part is executed. And in the next iteration, x becomes two. And because this condition is satisfied, it continues to the next iteration rather than printing out. So x two is not printed and we go moves on to three and so on, okay? So that was break and continue keywords. And can you combine um, else and for or while? Yes, we can do. Um, While count is smaller than five, we're going to print out count. Count plus one. And we can combine else with while like this. It will incur an error because else block is empty. So when we run this, it run this part. And when this condition is not satisfied, it goes to else block, all right? Okay, so you can combine else and 
while. And you can also combine for and while. So when we run this part, it prints one, two, three, four, and this else part is not executed because this break breaks all these four block and it cannot reach else block, all right? So if you remove a break, then after this block, is executed, it goes to else block, all right? So when there is break, it eliminates all the functionality of this for block, all right? So you need to understand this functionality like this. All right, um, and you can combine Two for loops. So you can combine two loops like this, and you can combine these items, all right? Okay. All right, try to understand this code block and Please let me know what will be the result of running this code.